Broderick, teenage rock star, Yahoo Predator. My little bro Greg is obsessed with the internet. He goes to it for advice, knowledge, self-validation, <laughs> lame. Me? I like to live on the edge, be my own monster, form my own opinions. Like, what is this whole internet thing? Why do we all conform to it? What makes it so important? Well, how better to understand a thing than through its primary form of communication? Memes. Like you, I encounter the same internet memes at least a dozen times a day. Seriously, just how many decisions does Drake have to make? How many statements does Batman have to interrupt? What exactly is Kermit's business? People on the internet use the same set of images over and over again as some kind of universal language. But as a singer-songwriter with my own band and a record deal surely just around the corner, this concerns me. After all, is music not the universal language? Or at the very least are not words, maybe? Don't get me wrong, there is definitely an appeal in hiding behind a bunch of strangers' facial expressions rather than putting yourself out there. I recently tried it to great effect with my homegirl Marissa. Pretty good, right? But you can't deny it lacked some nuance. Like, looking over that conversation again, I'm not sure Marissa came out understanding just how much she means to me. Oh well. But that's what situational memes are for, I guess. Pictures of very specific interactions with people's heads and words and objects that we can swap out to explain our own views on things. I suppose this is like the modern version of poetry. Like this dude Shakespeare once wrote, Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? If he were around now, he could have ditched the verse and just posted, Is this you? Or critics, they wouldn't need to write whole columns anymore if they just reviewed movies using memes. But, I don't know, anything worth memeing I think I'd rather just write a song about. Otherwise you're sunk if a new meme takes over the meta and it just doesn't make sense. See, whenever something like this shows up, I, as a popular artist and voice of the people, can't just ignore it. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, aliens? Predators? Or is it predators? Aliens? Or maybe aliens, predators, uh, humanity? Actually, that's, that's pretty good. Maybe to appreciate meme culture, you just have to dig in and get your hands dirty. Make a few of these bad boys to call your own. I mean, how hard can it be, right? Just find a stock photo and apply it to your life. Yeah, that's accurate. Or how about this? Oh, memories. Man, there are tons of these. Me working on my camouflage. Me when my net trap backfires. Me when a tree's got my nose. Me when my parents say I can't date a cactus. Me stepping in the doo-doo. Me after too much Taco Bell. Me after finding out the milk's been poisoned. Me transferring my consciousness into the brain of a dog. Me when I could really use some mac and cheese. Me when someone asks what a bag looks like. Me when I'm a turtle. Me wondering where is that mac and cheese? Me being totally inexplicable no matter what science says. Me when I first notice my shoulders and I'm like, what? Me and the boys when it's mac and cheese time. Me when I, um, yeah, I got nothing. Me eating that sweet mac and cheese. Me wondering if you're gonna eat yours. Me when you do. Me when I'm like, nah, bro, I'm just playing. But seriously, give me that mac. Okay, so I guess there's kind of a limited amount of new material out there, so maybe it's not the internet's fault everyone's so obsessed with the same few photos. I guess people just like feeling as if they're all in on the same inside jokes. Which, when you think about it, how best to sum this up? Uh, yeah.